Hi everyone. So I haven't done a live video in a while, I realized, and I really like doing these, so I wanted to get back into posting at least one once a week. And right now, it's the holiday season. It's Christmas time, New Year's is around the corner too, and fit. How do you stay fit during a this holiday season? So, I have some tips for you guys that I hope, I mean, some of them are definitely things that you already know, but I think it's a good reminder. I think we all need reminders sometimes. And so my first tip is don't skip your workouts. I know this is easy to do because we are so busy going to holiday parties, shopping, everyone's jobs are stressful because it's the end of the year. Um, we're baking, we're wrapping, all this stuff. So it's easy to say, well, I don't have time to work out. I'm not going to do it today. And I encourage you not to skip your workouts because if you start skipping your workouts and not doing them, you're definitely going to gain weight because you're already eating and drinking more than you normally do because of the parties and the holiday food. So skipping your workout is just going to make it worse. And you're going to be more stressed if you don't work out. So, oh, Stacey, you don't go... Don't go in the break room at work. Yes, that is another good tip. Don't go in the break room at work or walk by where the candy and the food is out at work. Just avoid it at all costs. I like that idea too. Um, thanks for sharing that. And like I said, so don't skip your workouts. Get them done. Also to go along with that is to get an accountability partner. If it is going to be harder for you to stay on track with your fitness and your goals and whatnot, get somebody who's going to help you. I can help you. I have a challenge group going on right now and we're all keeping each other accountable, posting every day. Get a best friend or your mom or your sister or your, you know, significant other. Have them help you um, stay on track. Also, drink lots of water. You really should be drinking lots of water no matter what. And that's, you know, something that I always encourage people. Make sure you're having a lot of water daily. But this is going to help you. Like, if you drink a lot of water before a big meal, you'll fill up and you won't eat as much. If you drink during the meal, drink a bunch of water. Um, also, when you're drinking alcohol, make sure you're drinking water in between each drink. So you have a drink of or a glass of wine, have an, a whole glass of water in between the next glass of wine. Um, also, to go along with that, limit your alcohol. I know this is hard. Trust me. Um, I love Christmas cocktails and wine and champagne and rosé and whatever. So it is hard because everyone's making their signature drinks at parties or you're just getting together more and every party has alcohol. But um, if you really want to stay on track, just limit it to two drinks a party or, um, you know, two drinks at dinner if you're going to a like a long dinner, um, give yourself like that limit beforehand so that you you know, all right, I've had my two drinks. That's it for tonight, you know. So limit it if you can. If you don't want to, you don't want to, you don't have to. I'm just giving you some tips for if you want to stay on track. Um, also, when you're at holiday parties and family parties, make sure you're filling up your plate with a lot of veggies and protein. So avoid a lot, like the cookies and all like the sugary stuff and fill up your plate with vegetables and salad and turkey and chicken um, and that'll fill you up too. So stay away from a lot of the carbs, like you know, a little bit here and there. It's all about moderation, but I'm just, you know, giving you some tips on filling your plate more with proteins and veggies. Um, also, don't skip your breakfast. And I think this is a tip for everyday life. I never skip breakfast. I used to be one of those people that would skip breakfast, but I don't anymore because I know how important it is to my metabolism, my health, and my body. So um, don't skip breakfast. Oh, uh, thanks, Elise. Is that how you say your name? I hope so. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, being in shape is more about, you know, being healthy with your nutrition and, you know, your metabolism and your cardiovascular health. So, you know, just definitely uh, hope these tips are helping you. I'm glad you guys are tuning in. Um, also, yeah, so don't skip your breakfast. Always have a breakfast, even if it's just some fruit or um, some eggs scrambled up, something. Also, I am giving you all these good tips, but I want you guys to treat yourself and enjoy. So yes, you can have some cookies, you can have some chocolate, you can have a cannoli. Um, you can't 
you it's the holidays you have to have some treats i mean come on there's so many good treats so definitely go in with an open mind like okay i'm gonna have a few cookies tonight but i'm gonna stop myself from having three three uh pieces of the pie too you know so definitely enjoy yourself i love cookies and i'm never gonna not eat cookies at christmas so i just know like i'm not gonna be eating five cookies every day for a week so i'm just gonna limit my treats but I, yes i am gonna treat myself and i am gonna eat some treats because that's what the holidays are about good food and good cookies and good times with your family and friends um, also learn to say no. So this is something that I've gotten better about. Um, and this could go through uh, with a lot of things, but as far as, you know, sometimes you just have to say no to some of the desserts, meaning you had a, you know, a cookie or a piece of pie that you wanted. And then your great aunt, uh, Emily is telling you, Hey, I made this. Can you please try it? I really want you to try it. Sometimes you kind of just have to say no. Like, I, you just, you got to be polite about it. But, you know, if you have certain goals, like right now, I'm finishing up my last week of Corps de Force and I have goals. So I don't want to have too many cheats and treats. So if I'm just say politely, you know, I'd love to try that, but. I'm really watching, you know, my my snacks and my treats because I really want to get great results with this program and I've worked really hard the last three weeks and I don't want to ruin it my fourth week. So you got to just got to lay it out like that instead of just saying, no, I don't want that. Kind of just say, you know, I have these, these things going on that I committed to and I just don't want it to throw me off track. Um, and also, you know, maybe you don't even like what they made and you don't want to try it. So you just kind of have to be polite about it, but you don't have to eat something just because someone's trying to make you eat it. Um, and then finally, my last tip is to remember your goals. So if your goal is to, you know, be the best shape you've ever been and be the healthiest you've ever been, just remember that when you're making decisions. Um, you know, that's, that's what helps me is I just like, okay, I, I'm in this challenge group right now. I'm running this challenge group with everyone. I need to get my workout in no matter what. I need to eat healthy no matter what, because these are my goals. And that's what I decided to do. And you make yourself proud because you let temptation, um, you didn't let temptation get in the way. So be reminded of your goals. And actually, I just thought of one last tip. My last tip is to not beat yourself up. If you have a day where you go a little crazy and you drink too much and you eat too much, don't beat yourself up. Forgive yourself. It's not, we're all human. You can't eat 100% clean every day of your life. Some people can eat pretty close to that. I can't, but I try to do be good, but I just can't. So you can't just be yourself up about one day, one party that you ate too much and you had too much, many calories. You got to just roll with the punches, forgive your, forgive yourself for, you know, getting off track, pick yourself back up the next day, get back on track, get back committed instead of being upset with yourself. You don't, there's no need to punish yourself, you know, it's just food. So, um, so get back on track the next day and forget about the past and look to the present and you'll be good to go. And like I said, I did want to reiterate that I will be enjoying cookies. I will be enjoying some, some cocktails, um, during this holiday season because I work hard to earn it and also because everyone should treat themselves. So definitely treat yourself, but I hope you guys found all these tips very helpful watch the video again if you missed the beginning ones because those are pretty good tips um, and I hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays.